Well, I came here for the adventure of it and to see if I could push myself to the absolute limits. I think, without a doubt, I'm so close to my absolute limits right now. across this um, single strand of tufa. Now tufa is actually called earth almond and uh, it's really really good food. It's uh, high in protein. You can eat this. Normally it has little balls attached to it that you can peel and they're sort of like peanuts but um, we missed out on those and uh, but you can chew the stalk. So. way of eating these elderberries and because it's such a cold morning I've um, mushed them up in this pot and warmed them on the fire but I have to tell you it doesn't make much difference. <laughs> it doesn't. Mm -mm. I keep thinking if I was truly in a situation where I had to eat bugs would I eat bugs to survive a la Bear grill style. I will, not eat, I... I will not eat bugs in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Would I squeeze the juice out of elephant dung <coughs> to survive? <laughs> Seems I, I'm having trouble eating these elderberries, which are actually quite sweet and nutritious. <laughs> Who knows? I think it's ended up being about 35% map, 35% GPS, and then like 20% intuition that's got us through this. Um, you mean 30%? No. 40, what? 30% intuition. Oh, yeah. As I said, the first thing that goes in survival mode is the brain. Smartness. <laughs> Yeah, I think the fact that we, we hiked up like miles, for three miles straight up on a handful of berries and some nuts and we dug up some roots is a huge achievement. I'm feeling a little fatigued. I think my body is going to take a while to get used to what's going on, but um, we're still smiling. So if you were in an actual survival situation, you'd probably just sit down and you'd have plenty of time to harvest the food around you, to gather water, to hunt for whatever you need. But we're actually having to do that on the go, so therefore we're not getting as much food and we're burning way more calories than people in an actual survival situation. Yesterday was probably one of my hardest days. There was a point there I sat down and I just had to like shut my eyes for five minutes and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> that was probably my lowest point of the entire trip yesterday was just getting the motivation to get back up when we didn't even have a trail to follow. We didn't even know sort of where the GPS was taking us and, and I was exhausted.
because you didn't take any food or any water. Obviously, you had to know where to find food. Mm -hmm. Thomas is actually amazing. It's this encyclopedic memory of um, living off the land. So he's done some training with some Native Americans and uh, and knows what to eat, what not to eat, what to use for medicine, what to use for tools and things like that. Like it, it's just incredible. Excellent partner. I've, I've worked in the outdoors in extreme terrain and conditions my whole life and uh, she's been one of the best partners I've ever worked with.